Hey true believers, this is Dr. T and welcome to my comic book channel. Today I have a CGC unboxing of five Silver Age Marvel books. Stay tuned. CGC received these five books back on January 20th of 2022 and I received them today on the day that I'm opening these books, December 13th. 2022 so not terrible as the economy tier goes for CGC but it still it still took about 11 months to get these books back two of them have a custom label I think they're in this box and three did not because they're not available but all I believe I can I remember what four of these books are one of them I can't remember let's get into these boxes and find out since the economy and standard tier take so long, uh, and at the time the modern books were taking quite a while too, and of course that turn turnaround time has completely, uh, completely been adjusted by CGC, but economy and standard still take a while. And so these books were books I bought back in 2021, a lot of them, some of them even earlier, like my first appearance Falcon, my Captain America 117, that is a PC book, and I believe this box, that book I bought three or four years ago, maybe four years ago, so it wasn't during 2021. And we wait so long as CGC submitters and collectors that you just, it's quite exciting to finally get them back to see the grades. And I don't know the grades of any of these books, so I'm really eager to see if my grading after these books were pressed was accurate. I didn't have CGC press them, but uh, a, a third a party presser, and and hopefully hopefully my grades were are what they ended up being. Yep, two books in here. So here is a Journey into Mystery Annual Number One, the first appearance of Hercules. This book was a PC purchase, even though, of course, there was the big Hercules speculation just recently with Thor Love and Thunder. But I bought this book with the, with the intent that it would be a PC book because I've always loved Hercules. I bought this book at this point now. It's probably been four years since I purchased this book, and I bought it for only 70 dollars at a local comic shop in Tallahassee, Florida. My guess was that this book was going to be a VG minus, so a 3.5. The biggest problem with this book is uh, the cover is detached along, along the, slightly detached, probably about halfway up part of the cover on the spine. I think it was the back cover too. It doesn't have any notations here on the blue label, so that's good. So hopefully, yeah, first appearance of Hercules and Zeus, only issue becomes Thor annual. So here we go, Silver Age book 1965. I'm hoping it is a 3.5, it could be a 3.0, so let's see, three, two, one, and that's a 2.5, not, not shocking con con considering the the condition of the cover and how the the cover page is is pretty pretty detached up along the spine yeah but it's a, a nice presenting 2.5 up there in the right corner you see that tiny missing that tiny missing piece and then there's some more cover cover split right there. Not really a spine split, but a cover split for sure. And for 70 bucks, can't go wrong, but really, really displays well for a 2.5 as you can see right there. And off white to white pages. I'll take it, that's just fine. And I just noticed there is there's no custom label, even though I did ask for the Thor custom label. Doesn't have it. Now I'm going to have to go back and see if they charge me the $5 for the custom label, but that's supposed to have the Journey into Mystery 83 Thor swinging his hammer custom label, but I'll have to go back and check, but I'm pretty sure that was missed. 
this is the book that I forgot is in this batch. This was kind of a spec book. Yeah, it was a spec book. I'm sure it's way lower than what I bought it for, and in the effort to be transparent, I believe I bought this Fantastic Four. See, there's the custom label. The Thor book was also supposed to... That's the custom label box, and they didn't put the custom label on the Journey into Mystery. That's what the other one's supposed to have, but the Thor, so they had this one. That's so funny. They're both in the same box. That's the custom label box, and they didn't put it on that one. But this one has lots of tape... Um, on the spine front and back but based off of based off of this guide to grading comics you can have tape you can have tape along along the spine you can have tape along the spine for um up to a i think it was a a very good grade so a 4.0 I believe it could be 4.5, but 4.0 sounds right. So I thought this book was going to be, I thought it was going to be a 4.0. It very well could be a 3.5. And as always, it could be even lower. You just have that tape that wraps around here as well along the spine, but but not too bad. I mean, as a Fantastic Four fan, it wouldn't be bad to have this in the PC, but this was definitely supposed to be a, 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 a spec book but and and to sell it. But since the the price of books has been going down so much, I'm sure this isn't worth anywhere close to what I bought it for. But let's just see what the grade is after all this time. Three, two, one. And there's also a 2.5. So I was, I was way off on the grade for this book. And perhaps it was the excessive amount of tape on the spine. Not really no creasing, no terrible creasing on the cover. The corners are okay, but yeah, and the back cover is also all right. I'll look forward to seeing the graders notes on these. The back cover is also decent. And ooh, did this have a spot? No, the tape was meant to preserve the spine, but I think I think with all that tape it was no good. But oh, white and white pages, go figure. 1968 book with straight white pages, but 2.5, not bad as the Silver Age goes. I mean, these would sell really quickly if I had them listed at a good price, but not what I was looking for, but that's okay. It looks really good, looks really good, and that's okay, we'll take it. So here is Tales of Suspense, number 58. Not the sharpest copy, but I bought this at an LCS, again in Tallahassee, had it been three or four years ago. Love the cover, love the Cap Iron Man battle cover, and I believe I thought this book was gonna be a VG minus, so a 3.5 or a 3.0. Let's see what we have here. Pretty good Silver Age book. Three, two, one. Yeah, 3.0 off-white pages. That's definitely in the ballpark. This book, compared to the other 2.5s, has way more cover, cover wear. A lot of cover wear here. A lot of cover wear along the top. I mean, you can see it right there very clearly. The other two book, books present much nicer than this one, but this one just ekes them out with that 3.0. And these books have been gone for... I bought these books so so long ago and they've been gone for such a long time it's just nice to have them back but good good silver age books and affordable for people that are wanting to buy these books affordable i'll see what i end up doing with this one but i love that cap iron man cover but but i'll see what i end up doing with all of these books all right here is captain america 117 this book is definitely a pc book right first appearance of sam wilson the falcon Love that cover, and I was hoping that this book would be, oh gosh, what was, I, I thought it was going to be hopefully a fine, very fine, a 7.0, but I could be wrong, <laughs> especially with these mid to lower grade books, and it's more tricky to grade them, so let's see what we have, 3, 2, 1, and a 6.0 and you know that doesn't that's not shocking off white to white pages first appearance of falcon a 6.0 i will take this all day long and it'll be interesting to go through and check out these greater notes but yeah i thought it would be about a 7.0 and 
there is a crease. There is a light color breaking crease along the spine. Let me get that light out of the way. Along the spine here, a light color breaking crease. But I will take that book to go with my first appearance of Luke Cage, Hero for Hire number one, which is a 6.5. So a comparable grade to that. But nice looking, nice looking mid-grade book. And I do know what this one is. Iron Man and Submariner. Boy, I bought this book a while ago. Of course, it was supposed to lead up to Wanda Forever, but just to get these book back, these books back, it takes so long. I thought this was a VG plus. I thought this was a 4.5, but it absolutely could be a 4.0 as well. Just the way it goes. So let's see what we have here. Three, two, one, and a 4.0. Yep, that's in the ballpark. Off-white pages. So here's the 4.0. This first appearance of Sam Wilson definitely staying in the PC unless I uh, upgraded it later. But here you have it, True Believers. Marvel Comics from the Silver Age. Glad to have them back after about 11 months. And as always, remember, comics for life.